Hi, I'm Nicole. And I'm Rachel. And today we're going to be talking about different mnemonics to help you remember the neurotransmitters and the hormones that help you function better as a person. And the reason why we chose these are because the names sometimes don't suggest exactly what they mean. So they're not as straightforward as you might think. But of course, they're super crucial to our day-to-day -day life. So yeah. To jump right in, our first mnemonic is going to be the neurotransmitter dopamine, which we thought we would associate with doping scandals in the Olympics that make athletes more competitive and strong. And because dopamine is a motor move, it controls motor movement and alertness, we thought that athletes use a lot of dope to really gain that motor movement and alertness that is needed. And so a lack of dopamine is associated with Parkinson's disease and an overabundance of dopamine is also associated with schizophrenia. Next up, we have GABA, as in Yo GABA GABA. And so if you haven't seen this show before, it is a children's show. And much like the uh, neurotransmitter itself, it res it's responsible for calming and it's an important inhibitory neurotransmitter. Um, on the flip side, if you have too much of it or too little, you will have seizures or sleep problems like insomnia. So much like the chaotic sort of aspect of this show, um, it kind of, will help you remember through this mnemonic that you can go crazy or it can serve as a symbol of nostalgia and, uh, and comfort with uh, the show in your childhood. Okay, and so our next year transmitter is glutamate, which as you can see is glutamate. And here we have Mr. Allen and Mr. Hart who are best mates. And because glutamate is in charge of memory and is also an excitatory new transmitter, um, we decided to show Mr. Allen and Mr. Hart, who are good buddies and who love playing basketball. These are two mates that are glued together and have lots of good memories together. And so yeah, and so an unbalance of glutamate is also involved with migraines and seizures. And so yeah. So our next um, neurotransmitter is serotonin. Our mnemonic for this is serious, as in serious serotonin. So our two examples are Will Smith and Chris Rock. And just a little while ago, there was a whole drama between Chris Rock and Will Smith and how Chris Rock happened to make fun of Will Smith's wife's hair or her absence and lack of it. So because serotonin is responsible for many of our emotions, including mood, hunger, sleep, dreaming, arousal, our sexual behavior, uh, pain, aggression, etc. Uh, we associated this and their whole drama and Will Smith <laughs> smacking of Chris Rock with this. And a lack of serotonin is actually associated with depression. So this is our mnemonic. <laughs> okay, so our next hormone was orexin. And the mnemonic we thought for this one would be or oxen. And as you can see, we have an oxen here who does a lot of tasks and orexin is, is basically multitasking neurons that regulate a set of vital bodily functions, including arousal, appetite, <laughs> appetite, and mood. And so too much or too little of Rexin has been linked with causing depression, panic disorders, addictions, and even PTSD. But yeah, next time you see your oxen, think or oxen and think about all the multitasking activities that it fulfills. So next up, we have leptin, which is a hormone that helps you feel full. So when thinking of leptin, you can think of the word itself. And if you look a little closer, in between the T and the I, if you put in an H, it spells leptin. So think thin, that happens when you feel full. Um, the reverse of that, meaning if you have too much, you would gain weight, and if you have too little, it would cause a deficiency in um, the functioning of your immune system, and it may also delay your puberty. So looking at leptin, leptin, think of like stretching the letters out and squeezing in an H for leptin. What's that? That's ghrelin, a hunger hormone that regulates food intake, body weight, and glucose, and homeostasis. And so high levels cause severe obesity, extreme hunger, and learning difficulties, which are widely known as a disease called prater will syndrome. And too little can also lead to some anxiety. And so to remember ghrelin, we think about the stomach growling sounds, which are very similar to the pronunciation of the word ghrelin. 
Next up, we have the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, and our mnemonic for this one comes directly from the word. So first three letters, ACE. We thought of ACE Hardware Store, and for that we have a toolbox here um, meant to symbolize all the different tools, and because the, uh, the neurotransmitter itself is associated with motor movement, learning, and memory, inside this toolbox we have things that'll help you repair an automobile or repair things around the house which entails using your motor um, skills and physical movement to operate the tool. So a lack of acetylcholine actually uh, would uh, make someone develop Alzheimer's disease. So you would start to become kind of forgetful, which is impacting the whole learning aspect. Um, so yeah, whenever you think of acetylcholine, think of Ace Hardware Store and motor movement. Okay, and so those were all of the neurotransmitters and hormones. And again, we use mnemonics, which help to process these sometimes confusing definitions into the long-term memory by associating these words with um, different meanings and memorable images and different ways of pronouncing them to really help you guys to remember the meanings of all these words. And so hopefully you learned something new today and thank you for watching. Thanks. That is the, wait, I don't want to say that, it literally sounded like a YouTuber. That is the end.